It's a bright sunny Saturday. Mummy is watching Max playing in the living room. Oh dear, Max fell over and bumped his head. Mummy tries to calm him down. Now Max has a big boo-boo on his elbow. That must really hurt. Luckily, Mummy knows what to do. Max needs a bright green band-aid. Just slap it on the boo-boo and it makes the pain go away. Now Max feels much better. Yeah. Mummy goes outside. But look, Ollie has fallen off his skateboard. Poor Ollie. He's really shaken up by the crash. Ollie has a nasty boo boo on his knee. That looks painful. But luckily, Mummy has another green band aid. That'll make it all better. There. Mummy stuck the band aid on. Ollie feels better already. Perhaps Ollie should be more careful riding his skateboard in the future. Behind Mummy, Ella is out riding her bike. Look out, Ella! Oh no! Now Ella has crashed and bumped her head. She looks very upset. But Mummy knows what to do. A big warm hug. And Ella feels all better. Now Ella can get back on her bike. But she'll have to be careful not to fall off again. It's later that day. Poor Mummy hurts her arm looking for things in the cupboard. But what's Mia doing here? Oh wow! Mia has a bright green band-aid for Mummy! She wants to make Mummy feel better too. It's important to take care of the people you love. Mummy feels better already. Mia has learned fast. <laughs> now Mummy has got safety equipment for Ollie, so he won't hurt himself if he falls again. Whoa. She's got a helmet for Ella too. Now they can safely play. Mummy really is the <laughs> best. Eat your vegetables. It's lunchtime, and Mummy is working hard making food for baby Max and his little friend Izzy. Mm. Izzy and Max are so excited and ready to eat. They hope lunch is something yummy, like chips or pizza. <laughs> Lunch is ready. It's a big bowl of orange carrots. Izzy and Max are shocked. This is not the snack they expected. They are not happy at all. 
Izzy and Max refuse to eat. We don't like carrots, they huff. <laughs> Mummy happily munches on a carrot. She tells them the carrots are very yummy. Mm. <laughs> Izzy won't even try a single carrot. She thinks they look icky. <sighs> Mummy is disappointed. She hopes that Max will try some carrots. Max is stubborn. He will not try the carrots. He wants a different treat. Hmm. Luckily, there's some other food for lunch. Mummy also has some tasty green peas. Mummy offers the peas to Izzy. But she won't eat these either. She doesn't like peas. Max doesn't like the look of peas. There is no way he will eat them. He would rather go hungry. The two babies burst into tears. They are hungry. They want something fun to eat. Mummy looks at the peas and carrots. Suddenly, she has an idea. Mummy hmm. shuffles the vegetables from one plate to the other. What could she be up to? Hmm. Max and Izzy are scared. They have no idea what Mummy is doing. And they're still hungry. Whoa! Mummy has made a cute smiling vegetable face! Max and Izzy take a look. Maybe the veggies will taste as fun as they look. Max is ready to try a carrot after all. Maybe it'll be yummy after all. It tastes great! Now Izzy wants to try one too. <laughs> Mummy is focusing hard. She's making more food for the babies. Ta-da! Mummy has made two more adorable vegetable faces using carrots, peas, broccoli and green beans. Max and Izzy are so excited to eat their cute veggie face lunch. <laughs> if they're still hungry, Mummy has lots more tasty vegetables for them to enjoy. But Max and Izzy are too full to eat any more. Maybe they can have some more tasty veggies for dinner. It's breakfast time in the LBB house, and today, Ollie is helping to cook. Mummy helps to tie Ollie's apron nice and tight. Mm -hmm. There! Now Ollie is ready to help cook a big breakfast. Now, what should Mummy cook for breakfast? Banana chocolate pancakes. Yummy! Mm. Step one. Measure and pour the mixture into a bowl. Step two. Mix it with a whisk. Step three. Fry the mix in a pan. 
Step four, time to eat the pancakes. <laughs> Add bananas and chocolate sauce to make it extra yummy. Ollie loves pancakes. They're so sweet and tasty. The bananas and chocolate sauce make it very special. Now, it's time for Ollie to learn how to make pancakes for himself. Ollie uses the whisk to mix it all up. It's a messy job, but Ollie really enjoys it. <laughs> Now Mummy teaches Ollie how to use the frying pan safely. Mia is so proud of her little brother. <laughs> Finished! Another fresh stack of yummy pancakes. Mia and Ollie did so well helping Mummy cook. Now it's time for Mummy to eat some pancakes too. It's so much fun to make breakfast together. It's night time, it's late, and the moon is high in the sky, but the house is not silent. <laughs> Ollie and Ella aren't in bed yet. They're having fun doing their bedtime routine. <laughs> Step one, brush your teeth. They brush thoroughly. Up, down, left and right. Mummy can see they're doing a great job. Ollie loves his mouth feeling clean. <laughs> Step two, wash your face. Ollie doesn't like washing his face, so Mummy helps him. <laughs> The twins wish they could stay up later, but it's no use. It's time for bed. <laughs> Step three, wriggling into pajamas. Ella is excited to wear her favorite comfy PJs. Whee! Ollie puts his pajamas on too, but he doesn't feel ready for bed yet. Step four, story time. Mummy is going to read to the twins from their favorite fairy tale book. <laughs> Ollie grabs his teddy bear. Ollie can't sleep without his teddy by his side. Ah. Tucked up in bed, Mummy begins to read. It's the tale of a princess who sailed the sea searching for pirate treasure. While sailing, a huge sea monster attacks the princess ship. Roar! yells Mummy. <gasps> they have heard the story many times before, but the sea monster still scares Ollie and Ella. <gasps> but it's okay, says Mummy. The princess has a cunning plan to escape the sea monster. This is Ollie and Ella's favourite part. The princess uses her magic wand to make the wind blow. <laughs> the sails in her ship catch the wind 
and sail away as fast as they can, escaping the sea monster. There is a little bit left of the story, but Ella is too tired to hear it. They can finish the story tomorrow. Mummy wishes Ollie and Ella a good night's sleep. Good night, Mummy, yawned Ollie and Ella. Their eyes are very heavy. <sighs> Within seconds, the pair are fast asleep. <sighs> Mummy takes one last look to make sure they're asleep. Now, it's time for the final step. Oh. Step five. Mummy blows a kiss. Sleep tight. Ollie didn't come downstairs this morning, so Mummy goes to check on him. Oh dear, Ollie looks very sad. He has a runny nose. He has a nasty cough as well, and red cheeks. <gasps> oh no, Ollie is sick. Poor Ollie is feeling so unwell. He'll need lots of rest so he can get better. Ollie wants to play outside, but he'll need to stay home today so he can get better. He'll need to take some medicine to make his cough go away. Now Ollie just has to wait for the medicine to work. Ollie spends the whole day in bed and gets a long night's sleep. Oh dear, Ollie still isn't feeling better. His cheeks are still red and he still has a runny nose. But what's this? There's a sock puppet dancing in the doorway. It's Mia. She's come to try and cheer Ollie up. <laughs> but poor Ollie is still not feeling better. He still feels hot and icky. <laughs> Mummy tries to cool Ollie down with a wet washcloth. That helped. Now Mia is staying to cheer Ollie up with her sock puppet. <laughs> the next morning the sun is shining bright. Does Ollie feel any better now? Wow! Ollie's feeling much better. His cough is gone and his nose isn't running anymore. What's that by the door? <laughs> it's Mia and the sock puppet again. Mia wants her brother to come outside and play. <laughs> Look, now there are two sock puppets, a purple one and an orange one. Ollie and Mia are having so much fun. Everyone is glad Ollie is well again. <laughs> Lullaby! Lullaby.